Coming up on Auto Show TV, a little muscle car action with the Dodge Charger and Challenger Hellcats. Plus, we visit Tasca Automotive Group to learn more about Mazda and their new CX-5. Also celebrating 100 years of Mitsubishi and courtesy Mitsubishi in South Attleboro. And up close with Volvo's new V90 Cross Country. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning, welcome to Auto Show TV this morning. I'm John Coletto. Well, we're here at the mothership of the Tasca Automotive Group on Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. But we're not going to be talking about Ford this morning. Actually, another brand that Tasca sells that might be flying a little bit under the radar. We'll do that with Carl Tasca Jr. a little bit later in the show. But we start off with Elmwood Auto Group. Hey, how about a little summertime fun here on Auto Show TV? We're with Dennis Freeman from Elmwood Auto Group. You've brought us a Dodge Charger and a Dodge Challenger to show us today. But these aren't your, uh, you know, run-of-the-mill muscle cars, are they, Dennis? They're certainly not, John. These are the 707 horsepower Hellcats. Wow. And just look at these cars. I mean, these cars almost speak for themselves, but it's not until you get inside and turn the key that they really start to speak. Uh, at that point, they start to growl, and, and, and that's, when the, that's when you unleash the beast. Each of these vehicles have 707 horsepower. It's the fastest production vehicle on the road, and you hit the nail on the head, John. These are true muscle cars. They're head turners. Everything about them is just awesome. And let's face it, let's be real. No little kids, you know, have posters of Corollas or Honda Accords on their on their wall. True. They have posters of Chargers and Challengers and Mustangs and Camaros. Oh sure. Just true American muscle cars, and that's what these are. So Dennis, what makes the Hellcat the Hellcat? Well, in both models, John, both the Charger and the Challenger, let's talk about some of the other models available. You start off with the SE, which is a 300 horsepower V6. Then you step up to the RT, which gives you 370 horsepower. Then you step up to the SRT, which is 470 horsepower. And of course, that's not enough. Then you step up to the class exclusive 6.2 liter supercharged Hellcat. Well, we put the hoods up. How about you start it up for us? Let's, let's hear what this charger let's sounds it, like. They, they sound just as good as they look. Now, at the end of the third quarter, Chrysler is releasing the Dodge Demon Hellcat. That's over 800 horsepower. Why not? Why not? <laughs> at that level, that is going to be the fastest production car in history. That is going to be the only production car that's ever had front wheel lift from launch mode. I mean, it's going to be an animal. Well, now back to the Hellcat. Now, you, we've got the Charger, we've got the Challenger. Other than, obviously, the, the Charger's the four-door, the Challenger's the two-door. Are they, are they similar in many ways? They're very similar. They're, act, they're essentially built on the same platform. Um, the, the wheelbase is essentially the same. It's just we have a four-door model and we have a two-door model. And even the two-door model, uh, being the Challenger, has a decent amount of back seat room, a good amount of trunk space. Yeah. But again, there are those people who need that larger trunk, they need that four doors, they need to be able to get their kids in the back. Easier to get in and out of, obviously, with four doors and two. And, class exclusive, both come available in all-wheel drive. The only true American muscle cars to, be, to, to also come in all-wheel drive. Yeah, and obviously, a lot of safety features, safety technology, because that's important. Nine airbags, front and rear crumple zones, side impact beams in the doors, ears, what's called enhanced accident safety response system. And you also have a lot of the technology found in high-end luxury cars. Forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, 360 degree cameras, the list goes on and on. And on the chick magnet scale, they're over the top, I understand. They're, 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 they're over the top. I've had several guys who have actually canceled their online dating subscription and just bought charges and challenges. It's, and there's been a lot of babies made in the back seats of these cars too. Let me just mention that. I, I, I would imagine, I would imagine. So Dennis, let me ask you, do a lot of women buy chargers and challengers and Hellcats? 
They do. Believe it or not, John, um, a lot of women are drawn to the styling of this vehicle. And, with, and the speed. And the speed, exactly. And with the Charger, it's, it's a, it's a mid-size sedan. Yep. Um, and again, like I said, you can get it in the V6, you can get it in the V8, you can get it in all-wheel drive. So a lot of people ask me, how is the rear-wheel drive model in the snow? Well, I'm sure a lot of people have noticed that a lot of police officers, a lot of municipalities, uh, a lot of the state troopers drive. They char chargers, they yeah. They drive chargers, yeah. which most of those are rear wheel drive. So the rear wheel drive Charger and Challenger is one of the only vehicles to achieve 50-50 weight distribution. The battery is even placed in the trunk of the vehicle one of two reasons. One, battery's heavy. It helps to add to that weight over the rear wheels and it extends the life of the battery because it's not subject to the heat of the engine. I think it's important, Dennis, if someone is considering a Charger or a Challenger, they're gonna do some research, but they're gonna have some questions and your guys are experts when it comes to these vehicles. Absolutely, John. The best thing to do is come down to the dealership, speak with one of my sales professionals. My salesmen spend countless hours in the classroom studying, learning about these vehicles, not just the options and packages, but what makes them uh, exclusive, what sets them apart from the competition. So I'd like to invite anybody who may be interested in a newer used vehicle to come down to Elmwood Auto Group and get a great deal. Next, Talking Mazda with Carl Tasket Jr. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. At Anchor Subaru, we've been busy working on our future, which makes us think about our past. Anchor started as a repair shop in Lincoln, Rhode Island, and quickly gained a reputation as the place to go for reliable repairs and a great used car. In 1995, we moved to North Smithfield and started Anchor Subaru. Along the way, we added Anchor Nissan and over 100 employees. And now, 30 years later, we're rewriting our history. After years of planning, our all-new state-of-the-art Subaru facility is now open. Enjoy our climate-controlled indoor service check-in, luxurious, comfortable waiting lounge, the latest in equipment and technology for your Subaru, and express service for your busy schedule. Plus, browse the latest Subaru models in our beautiful new showroom. To our thousands of longtime customers who have become such a big part of our lives, and to our new customers who we can't wait to welcome into the Anchor family, we built this for you, and we hope you enjoy it. The all new Anchor Subaru. It's not just a Subaru dealership, it's the Subaru destination in southern New England. Visit Cerrone's for special April savings on hundreds of Chevys, Buicks, and GMCs. Find your tag and get 16% of MSRP cash back. That's over 9000 back on a 2017 Silverado. And for a limited time, save over $7,000 when you purchase a new Malibu. Or for just 209 per month, lease a brand new 2017 Cruze. Cerrone Chevrolet Buick GMC on Route 1 is now a division of the Priority Automotive Group. Chevrolet. Find new roads. We're back on Auto Show TV. We want to give Mazda a little bit of love right now. And this familiar face is Carl Tasca Jr. We're at Tasca Mazda. So let me ask you, is it me or is Mazda making a terrific product that not everybody seems to know about? Mazda may very well be the best kept secret in our automotive group, John. It's a brand that we've had since 2001. It's one of our highest volume brands, one of our highest CSI brands. It's also a brand that a lot of Tascas drive, but for whatever reason, it kind of flies below the radar. Seems to me I remember your grandfather driving a Mazda or two. Yes, in fact, my, right to our left is a picture of my grandfather in, in this show. His last four vehicles were Mazdas. He always said it was the, uh, the best engineered car that we sold at the time. Of course, he mispronounced, he called it Mazda, but that's okay, he's a Rhode Islander. But, uh, and my wife actually had two of them, and all my brother-in-law's leased Mazdas. Maybe going back to 2002, I don't think I've ever read a bad review about a Mazda. There's really nothing to complain about. They have best-in-class styling, best-in-class technology, 
best, double best in class fuel economy, and they're actually nice cars to drive. You can get a car that gets 35, 40, 43 miles per gallon, and it doesn't feel like it was designed solely for the purpose of not using gasoline, which is nice. Yeah, so what do your service techs think of working on Mazdas? Well, well it's interesting. If, if you walk into the service department of the dealership you're in right now, our, our flagship Cranston store, there are a lot of technicians for a lot of our brands. We have two Mazda technicians because they don't break. The big joke is that you don't repair a <laughs> Mazda, you maintain a Mazda, which maybe they broke a little bit more often, we'd be a little busier, but uh, it's, it's as close to a worry-free experience as possible. They, they really don't break. They require infrequent maintenance, and there aren't a lot of recalls with Mazdas like maybe with some of the other brands. Right. So overall, it's a pretty worry-free experience, and they don't use a lot of fuel. So you really, you make your monthly payment and you go about your business. Once you test drive a CX, especially the CX-5, I think that's the most groundbreaking of the current Mazda lineup. You drive a CX-5, you don't want to look anywhere else. And for what you get, even at the entry-level sport, the amount of equipment and technology in that car, you'd have to go up three or four or five trim levels versus some of our Japanese competition, which is nice. Well, let's take a closer look sure, because sure. here it is. This is the all new, the redesigned yes. Mazda CX-5 that yes. you're very proud of. You've yes. only had it for a very short time. 2017 was the, the model you see here. And it's been our second best selling car in our group since the car came out. The only car that outsells it is the F-150. And of course that outsells everything. Right. But it's an exceptional value. You can get a Sport, which is the entry level, with more basic equipment than uh, two or three trim levels up for the competition. And then if you go to the Grand Touring, it really becomes from an entry level SUV to a luxury SUV, loaded every single feature possible. Yeah. So it appeals to this one brand, this one model lineup appeals to various segments, which is nice. Now, from the previous generation mm -hmm. CX-5 to this mm -hmm. new one, I know that a lot of new technology, yes. a lot of new yes. safety technology. Yes. What Mazda did was they never want to be behind with vehicle design, and some of the finest engineers in the industry work at Mazda. But what I think the best safety feature of this car is, is its maneuverability. A lot of times when you get to a car that's based on fuel economy as its unique selling proposal, it compromises with responsiveness, it compromises with just its general handling. If you put this car on a road and you have to take an evasive driving maneuver to save your family, the car's gonna respond. Unlike some of the competition that maybe it gets great fuel economy, but it's a sled on wheels. This truly is as close to a sports car in its segment as possible. And that's the ultimate safety feature. When you can get out of the way of trouble, you don't need to worry about a car stopping itself or a car doing this or that for you. And that's what makes the Mazda so, I would say, fun to drive and safe at the same time. For people who now are interested in sure. the CX-5, how sure. do they lease and talk a little bit about coming down here to Tasca and sure. get yourself a good deal? Sure, of course. I mean, I, we like to tell you how great Mazda is and we like to think that no one does Mazda as well as Tasca does. It's, um, it's a brand lineup overall that's based on value. So you do get an awful lot for your money, but at the end of the day, the cars are not, um, they're not out of reach budget-wise. If you go on Tasca.com, our website, we spot, I and my family, we spend a lot of time making sure that we make it easy for a customer to find out what do these things cost? What's the true cost of ownership? So if you were to look at the monthly payment on one of these, you can get a CX-5 all-wheel drive SUV for a similar monthly payment to what you'll be looking at for a Toyota Camry or a Honda Accord. So you're getting more equipment, more functionality, for a pretty low monthly payment. And one thing that we do, we lease about 70% of our Mazdas. And that's a whole other TV segment why I think <laughs> it's the best way to drive a car. I'm biased, my grandfather invented leasing. But um, when you look at the true cost of ownership, doing a 24 or 36 month lease on a CX-5 will legitimately save you thousands over buying that Toyota or that Honda. And then when you stack on top of it that it's a better vehicle, it's a no brainer. It's why it's the second best selling car in our group. Well, Carl, if uh, any of our viewers are interested in the CX-5, any Mazda, any Tasca product, sure. come on down here to the, as I like to say, the Tasca mothership here on Pontiac Avenue in Cranston, where you will be satisfied. Coming up, we visit Courtesy Mitsubishi. You're watching Auto Show TV. Buying a Hyundai? Good choice. Buying from Hyundai of Newport? Great choice. Number one dealer in New England for service satisfaction. Number one dealer in New England for customer loyalty. Number one dealer in customer reviews for Hyundai in Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Mass. Bringing the luxury car buying experience to Hyundai customers. 
Get more for less at Hyundai of Newport, a division of Priority Automotive Group. Welcome to Elmwood Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Taunton Avenue in East Providence. Elmwood's success over the years is now its tradition, and it can be attributed a number of ways. An outstanding veteran sales team, superior vehicle service, great deals, and always putting the customer first. The Elmwood dealership had its beginnings in the early 60s at 220 Elmwood Avenue in Providence as New England Motors, and then Elmwood Dodge. In 1971, the business moved to its present location in East Providence. And in 1982, Paul Warshevek purchased the dealership and the tradition really began to grow. Today, the dealership and the legacy have been passed on to Paul's son, Jay Warshevek, and Jay is hands-on in every way. He's at Elmwood every day to oversee the entire operation. Jay possesses a friendly and infectious personality that his staff and customers enjoy. Yeah, he gets it from his dad. Just check out the great reviews they get on Dealer Raider and Cars.com. And maybe the biggest testimonial is the thousands of customers who've come back again and again for their next car, truck, or SUV. Over the years, they've come to trust Elmwood. In addition, Elmwood can get you in a new or pre-owned vehicle even if your credit is challenged. They work with all credit situations. When it comes to your vehicle maintenance, Service Director Jim Verdoya and his team of highly skilled certified technicians take great pride in doing the job right, on time, and at a fair price. Whether it's an express lane oil change, scheduled maintenance, or a major repair. And Elmwood gives back to the community, including support to the Ark of Blackstone Valley, the Rhode Island Shriners, and the Groden Network, to name a few. Sales, service, financing, from owner Jay Larshevek on down. Satisfied customers are a team effort at Elmwood Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. That's the Elmwood tradition. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. We're here at Courtesy Mitsubishi on Route 1 in South Attleboro. You know, Mitsubishi may not be a name that you think of first when you're looking for a new vehicle. You might be thinking of Mitsubishi as a TV set. But they've been making cars for a long time. This is Tony Machado here, courtesy Mitsubishi, our Mitsubishi expert. And I know you have great passion for the Mitsubishi products. Why should our viewers, if they're in the market for a new vehicle, why should they consider Mitsubishi? Well, Mitsubishi's been around for a very long time. They've been in this country for over 100 years. They have one of the top-notch safety features in the vehicles. They put all their attention to the safety of the passengers and everybody that's in there. The Outlander Sport comes with seven airbags. Uh, some of their technology even sell to competitors to use for their cars also as well. And as far as price, sticker price, you can't yeah, the Mitsubishi. most reasonable price is going out there. And I think Mitsubishi is the best kept secret in the auto industry, actually. How do you suppose not everybody knows about Mitsubishi? They don't see too many on the road. You know, down south and everywhere else, down the other side of the country, they sell a lot of them. Yeah. But up here, they don't push them enough. Yeah. And people, could, once they see them, once they buy them, that's all they buy is Mitsubishi. So the manufacturer's rebate is ten, five years, 60, new car warranty, five years, unlimited roadside assistance, and a 10 year, 100,000 powertrain. But at Curtis and Mitsubishi, we double that to 20 years, 200,000 miles. Good reason to commit to no Curtis cost Mitsubishi. To you. Exactly. Yeah. Well, let's, let's look at the Outlander Sport, because I know you sell an awful lot of these. What can you tell us about this little SUV? Well, they come with a 2.0 and they come with a 2.4. This particular one is a GT. Technology is unbelievable to them. It has a panoramic sunroof, backup camera, navigation, heated seats, a uh, power seat, uh, plenty of room for five, and they're fun to drive, and you will not get stuck in the snow with these cars. Not and at all. reliable. Very reliable, very reliable. Low maintenance also. Tony, let's check out the cargo space here. Okay. Well, the cargo space here has plenty of room. As you can see, it's got the 60-40 split. Yep. Also has the tie down and everything for the car seats. Okay. Two car seats can go in here. Okay. You also have a subwoofer with the GT. Nice. Which is 710 watts. 
good sound system. Like a concert hall in here. Exactly. Huh? Yes, exactly. What's going on underneath? Underneath here, we do give you a temporary spare tire. Not everybody does. No, you're right. Not everybody does. And because we have the lo wheel locks here on this car, it comes right in the bag. Okay. Don't want to lose that. And of course, there's the seven passenger Outlander with plenty of room for your family. The other Mitsubishi vehicle we like to take a look at today is the Mirage. If you're a, you know, a commuter going into Boston every day, you'd be nuts not to think about this vehicle, right? Well, it's actually the best fuel economy vehicle without being a hybrid. You can get up to 43 miles on a gallon on a highway. And, and it fits five comfortably. And it's not expensive. Not expensive whatsoever, and it comes with the Mitsubishi great warranty that they have. And yes, we still double that powertrain warranty, even on the Mirage. Not everybody wants every bell and whistle and spend all that money. They just want to get from point A to point, point B, B, right? That's a, and this one does come with the power package, so you do have the power windows and the power locks, and you have the CD player. Some of them will be coming also with the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, this also has a very unique backup camera. Yes, it's located in the rear view mirror, left hand side of it. And John, the Mirage comes in two body styles. It comes in the sedan, and it also comes in the hatch. Well, Tony, we've learned a lot about Mitsubishi this morning. Tell us about Courtesy Mitsubishi as the place to come get a Mitsubishi. Well, Courtesy Mitsubishi will give you a lifetime range warranty on your vehicle, and we do double the powertrain warranty to 20 years, 200,000 miles. And we will beat any advertised price from any Mitsubishi dealership out there. And you know these vehicles. Inside and out. Been here for 12 years, and we're all sales experts in Mitsubishis. We'll help you get into the right Mitsubishi of your choice. Come in and see for yourself. Test drive the 2017 Outlander, Outlander Sport, and Mirage at Courtesy Mitsubishi on Route 1 in South Attleboro, where they're celebrating Mitsubishi's 100-year anniversary. Well, here it is. This is the newest vehicle in the Volvo lineup, and it's just out and hitting the dealerships. This is the all-new 2017 Volvo V90 Cross Country. It's gorgeous. We want to thank our friends at Steingold Volvo in Pawtucket for letting us take this one out to show you this morning here on Auto Show TV. First, let's just take a look at the exterior. It is elegant, no doubt about that, yet it's rugged too. It's practical, yet refined. The V90 Cross Country is not really a wagon, not really an SUV. Volvo calls it a crossover. So for starters, the Volvo V90 Cross Country is a luxury all-wheel drive vehicle that goes anywhere and in any weather. It sits a little higher than a wagon or a sedan with 8.3 inches of ground clearance, which is actually about the same as a standard Jeep Wrangler. And there's only one trim level, so it's easy to buy. It's the T6, and there are some optional packages you can add on. So the engine in the V90 is a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine, which maybe doesn't sound like much, but when you consider that it's turbocharged and supercharged and can deliver 316 horsepower, that's pretty good. It has an eight-speed automatic transmission. It achieves 30 miles per gallon highway, 25 miles per gallon combined, which is really good for an all-wheel drive vehicle. And this new V90 Cross Country can tow up to 3,500 pounds. Standard are 19-inch wheels, although you can opt for 20s. So you can see, this is a capable, go-anywhere, do-anything, five-passenger, all-wheel drive crossover, but because it's a Volvo, it delivers a true Scandinavian design, sophisticated technology, luxury, and a driving experience that goes above and beyond. Inside, looks a lot like its upscale sister, the S90 sedan. This is a cabin full of high-end materials and luxury. Let's start with the seats, superbly designed for comfort. Leather, heated, memory seats are standard here on the V90. Also a heated leather steering wheel and two-zone climate system. And this ginormous and intuitive center display for the census navigation. You got your backup camera, audio, climate, and there are so many other settings you can personalize. And in front of the driver, a 12-inch driver display where you can also see the nav, phone, even road sign and driver information. And the audio system, how about a 224-watt 10-speaker setup, including a subwoofer? It's like a concert hall in here. Depending on where you're going and the conditions, you can select from four driving modes, eco, dynamic, comfort, and off-road. And of course, you get a power moonroof in the V90. 
The second row seats fold down 40, 20, 40, and there's 34 cubic feet of cargo space with the rear seats up, 54 cubic feet with the seat folded down. Even the headlights are sophisticated. You have the Thor's Hammer daytime running lights. These are active high beam and active bending lights to help at night when taking corners. And the all-new Volvo V90 Cross Country is loaded with safety technology. Now, city safety helps avoid collisions with automatic braking. Pilot assist is a lane keeping feature. Also, you have blind spot monitors, rear cross traffic detection, rear collision warning, adaptive cruise control, and the head up display, which provides important driver information right out in front, right on the windshield. The all new Volvo V90 Cross Country has a safe interior cabin, plenty of airbags. It is an energy absorbing design to protect the occupants and for the driver, a collapsible steering column. So first, Volvo introduced the new XC90, then the S90 sedan, and now you have the newest, the Volvo V90 Cross Country. All-wheel drive luxury, safe, versatile, packed with easy-to-use, intuitive technology. This really is an impressive vehicle in every way. And thanks again to our friends at Steingold Volvo in Pawtucket, Michael Bernardo and the family, for letting us take this one out to show you this morning here on Auto Show TV. You've always known Volvo. A car company started over a hundred years ago that's built a reputation on safety, strength, reliability, and fun. And you've always known Steingold. Founded in 1934 and still known as the place for Volvo. There's likely a Volvo in your future and it will take you on a journey out to eat and out to play to the beach to see movies and sunsets and at the end of the day your Volvo will take you home safe and secure when you're in a Volvo, the journey can take you anywhere. But it should always start here. Steingold Volvo, a historic tradition since 1934. Well, we're wrapping things up this morning on a busy Auto Show TV. Our thanks again to our friends here at the Tasca Automotive Group in Cranston, and specifically Tasca Mazda. We certainly learned a lot today. And if you have any questions about any of the segments that you saw this morning, or better yet, if you'd like to see some great June deals from dealerships around our area, you can go to our website, autointelligence.info. I'm John Coletto. Be safe on the roads this week. Don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. And of course, as always, watch out for motorcycles. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.